This week on Clown College. Encore, encore, encore. Back again. Got the standing go. Hell just yeah. a quick, just a stage. quick couple bars for my boys. Ready? Chatting on the podcast with Dom and JJ, hoping Clown College comedy gets us to payday. Can't forget about Brandon with an E, not an O. Got hey. scammed by a lady on a radio show. What? Damn. <laughs> bars. Hell yeah. Shit. <laughs> Good shit. That's all I got. I'm Sierra Moses. Thank you. Hey, peace. <laughs> this is the Clown College Podcast. We're just a couple open micers trying to make our way through the scene. Where we interview comedians throughout different stages of their comedy career, no matter if they're open micers, headliners, or traveling comedians. I'm here too. Jamie 2.0. I just talk a lot more. Damn it, Brandon. Go sit in the corner. So what are we going to talk about today, <clears throat> ladies and gents? How have y'all been? Been good. Been good. good, good. Chilling, dude. Chilling. Good, good. Excited for this new mic tonight. Oh, me too. Oh, Fat yeah. Sammy's. Fat Sammy's. I've never been there, even just like as a customer. So I, I think I have because it's downstairs. Yeah. I did That's on what Brandon was saying. Yeah, I went down there by accident my sister one time. And it's in a good location, right? Very good. Like, it, mm-hmm. people are it's always downtown. around. Yeah, it's yeah, on downtown. Jefferson yeah. Street, I think. Okay. Yeah, it's going to be a crowd, hopefully, a little crowd. Hell yeah. Mm-hmm. Hell yeah. Yep. Ready to make some people walk. Hell <laughs> yeah. yeah. I mean, it's not that far. We park where the Y is at. <laughs> I nope. mean, with my jokes. Oh. <laughs> they get up and walk out. Oh, okay. Hell yeah. That's the goal. Mm-hmm. I, I was trying to write jokes, and I couldn't write nothing but roast jokes. So and tonight's going to be. And they were coming. Yeah. And for everybody. So. <laughs> I Sierra's mistake. That's what I, that's what I was thinking. <laughs> Like a it's fucking cost heat everybody. seeking missile, dude. Oh, yeah. That hellfire missile. <laughs> Come in. <laughs> you got to get them. I haven't written any roast jokes. I know that's like putting all my cards face up on the table, kind of exposing myself, but I have not written any. Well, actually, I wrote one roast joke. It was for you, actually. I'll, I'll say it right now. I don't yeah. care. It was, uh, you know, Dom was in the military. Thank you for your service. Thank you. You're a hero, dude. We love you. But <laughs> I said, if you would have got killed in Afghanistan, you would have counted as two casualties. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Get it? <laughs> hey, shit, boy. I was in the big war. Yeah. <laughs> the big war. The Bush war, dude. Like a good American. <laughs> JJ ate shit. I feel like we have to address Brandon, your mustache it's falling fun. off. <laughs> my mustache falling off. Let me pick that shit. This is my alter ego. What if he just took it off and licked it? <laughs> Smacked it back on? That was a weird ass fucking way I did that shit. You've got know. like a full on Hulk Hogan I mustache. I know, right, dude. man? Like, this that's beautiful. But that's like I, I, NWO. You know I mean? Hell yeah, Kevin Nash shit. <laughs> <laughs> fucking Nav Flanders. I don't know. <laughs> Why do you. Who? I, Ned Flanders from oh, the Simpsons. I thought we, we were on wrestling. I thought oh, you were naming other. Oh, oh, dude, wrestling. He's all over hey, the place. Hey, man. man, I know exactly who I look like. Paul Bear. I know exactly. Remember who he Undertaker looks like? with Paul Bear? <laughs> you got the Paul Bear mustache, it, but you got Jake Munchie's haircut. Jake the damn snake. <laughs> oh, hey, Jake. Oh, yep, yeah, I'll see you later. Uh, there'll be a picture inserted right yeah, here. We don't look like each other. We we need a side by side picture, bro. <laughs> it's got that slight ginger tinge. Gosh, I hope he's there tonight. Oh, he's so. gonna be there. I want to get a picture of Brandon and Jake next to each other. It's like oh, a yeah. reverse Michael Jackson. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's so good. <laughs> it's during a fucking surgery. Remember that shit. <laughs> it's falling off again, dude. Oh I love it. You know, leave it. Just leave it off. No, 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 not off. Just keep. Oh, it's because you're to trying to put a mustache over your actual. I mustache. know, right? Has it so, got like a sticky tape to it? or Yeah, something? it does. It's like a little fucking line of tape. So it's like a one use thing. Yeah. Well, kind of, but I'm gonna get some sticky shit to make it stickier. You know what? Go I just get something to rip out your fucking yep. mustache. Bro. No, no, we're gonna be <laughs> careful. Like, ah, we're gonna Saints be careful. Crazy glue <laughs> with a K. Hey, I could look like Abraham. It's all right. Abraham Lincoln, bro. You know how he didn't have that shit. I was thinking biblical. Yeah, oh, I was too. I was like, nobody calls nobody him did. Abraham. Nobody's on a first name basis with the president, dude. Oh shit, my bad, Lincoln. Man. <laughs> he laughed and it oh, flew shit. off. See what happened when I laugh, y'all? This shit just fly off like. Oh my god. You know what you could do is like put a little like uh, put some a little bump on each side of the mustache under it and flip it up like this. Snort coke on stage. Ooh. That's a good idea. Ooh. I'm not advocating for using, you know. Yeah, it's gonna be sounds like you are, but you know. it's gonna be like Smarties. Everybody remember doing Smarties? Not me. I didn't do the shit. But no, like, you remember well. kids back then, man? Like they used to do. What smarties. do you mean doing Smarties? Yeah. Back back when I was in second grade, you know I'm young. I forgot. They used to snort Smarties. 
for fun. Like, you know, because they're like, we oh, can't snorting? get cocaine, so we just going to snort Smarties. I didn't snort the shit. I was a goody two-shoes. They was out there banging back Smarties. Huh? Oh, yeah, they were banging Smarties in each other. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. In the second grade. We used to get down in my school. Bro. What? Not me, though. I didn't get shit my fat ass. <laughs> You met Magic Johnson. I, I met Magic Johnson, but then when I went home, I was called a potato head, so I'm good, man. Oh, well, damn. Yeah, dude. they used to do some shit. No, nah, we, were, we were doing actual drugs. Oh. Like, like where I was from. You the know? second grade? Not like actual drugs, but there was this thing. Not second grade. Probably like middle school. <laughs> oh, yeah, we were doing okay, this thing yeah. called the Robo Trip. Have you heard of that? Mm-mm. Where you drank the whole bottle of Robitussin? Mm. I, I've heard of people doing it, but I didn't I know what it's called. Yeah. yeah, you know. You did that? No, I kind of pretended like I did it, though. Like, you know, I, like, pour a little bit out and, like, oh, man, crazy. But I did know, but I'm not going to say who it was. One of my very good friends did do it, and then we had a fire drill. So the alarm started going off, and he was fucked up. So he didn't know what the hell was going on. <laughs> he, we, we came back into the school, and the lights were still flashing on the fire alarms on the wall, but they weren't making any noise. But everybody was talking, and you can hear yourself walking through the hall. And he turns to me, and he's like, can you say something? And I'm like, yeah, what's up? And he's like, oh, I thought I went deaf because I what? couldn't hear the fire alarms. <laughs> Everybody's fucking talking. There's like 400 boy, kids walking through the hallway. That boy's tripping on that lean one. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you know when everybody was vaping in the bathroom? Like oh, high yeah. school, and that's why they brought it up to like 21 because of that, right? That Wasn't is, that the yeah, reason? It was the flavor. I think it was the flavor jewel pods. Oh, no, yeah. First, yeah, they, yeah. they made them stop selling like mango jewel pods, mm-hmm. which is crazy now because you can buy any fucking any flavor, flavor oh, yeah, you want. And it tastes delicious. But if it's, <laughs> <laughs> but if it's disposable, <laughs> really I guess you just, it's cool, I yeah. guess. Mm-hmm. But you can't do it if you're jewel. That doesn't make sense. Yeah. God damn. I had no clue. I knew they. That's why they raised the the yep. age up to twenty one. Because we were always in it. Like I remember every yeah. time I go in the bathroom, mm. somebody like, you want some? I don't even know, dude. It's fucked up, man. Yeah, dude. That's the only thing Trump did that I disagree with. Me too. Like, everything else, great, <laughs> great politics, dude. <laughs> I couldn't name a single policy, but I support it. That's Same what way. everybody says who support him. I just like him because of his policies. <laughs> I like you, the economy. <laughs> that's <laughs> always a joke. The economy. I don't know what the fuck that even means. <laughs> I'm poor. I probably will be for a very long time. Same here. <laughs> Ain't nothing wrong it's getting with real. It. Yeah. <laughs> nothing wrong being poor. Uh, no, dude. You, you got just, when you're you just poor, want you it more, it. and then when you get it, it tastes so much better. Oh yeah, it's gonna exactly be amazing, yeah. bro. You got, yeah. You got to want a little bit. See, people who grow up with everything. Mm-hmm. Exactly. Dude. They're always you, being you poor. Find builds ones and twos who are good, but huh? Being poor builds character. Yeah. Yeah. There's yeah, no yeah. interesting shit that happens if you're rich. True. Every you know you're gonna wake up and have food on the table the next <laughs> mm-hmm. day. That's lame as hell. <laughs> get that car you want. Me, I say it's a gift to be poor, man. Because dude, when you get mm-hmm. that shit, I mean, well, to an extent, it depends how you use it. It's like it's like the symbiolite suit with Spider Man. You see, that's why I wore this. Because depends who it goes to. That's what I'm saying right here, and that's my message to y'all, man. Like, just use your poorness wisely. Because you can get rich out of that shit. Fucking look at uh, what's that dude that played basketball? DeRozan. What? Yeah, he, 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 he was a, yeah, he was a, he's an NBA player. Yeah, but back then he was poor, man. And dude, that drive got his ass up there. And he's six eight, and I mean six six, and uh, has like one of the so best mid range athlete, like of all top ninety nine percent athlete. Yeah. That came from the drive. <laughs> I don't know about that. <laughs> oh, here it is. <laughs> he's falling off. Oh, dude, on the way here, I was a. Uh, it's like traffic right yeah. over there. I'm like, I oh, don't want to leap, but you know. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. And uh, I saw a dude pull up right next to me. He had his windows rolled down. He was in a Mustang just blasting Juice World. Mm. Like, everybody could hear it. But I looked at him, and I noticed his hair. It was a dude that was in one of my classes last semester. Mm. So I rolled down my window, and I was like, yo. And he was like, hey, man, what's up? And I was like, we had that class together. And he was like, yeah. <laughs> I thought he was gonna be more excited about it. I thought it was cool. Dude, you got the fucking thing upside down, dude. Dude, at least you didn't do what this one dude did to me at Bridge Street, man. Whoa. So, <laughs> is so, it your uncle? That's no, my only no. question. I wish. No. What? No, not what? really like that. I'm saying the What's way the right situation now? that happened, man. Let me tell you, all that Bridge Street. And you know, he's. I'm gonna be honest. He's a little special. Like he's he's past me, and uh, <laughs> then he's not a little. <laughs> yeah, yeah, fine. He's very man. He be dancing in front of everybody and shit. But anyways, I was walking minding my business, uh, business, and he running, bruh, fucking running. My sister was. Were you there? 
She was there. He was fucking around. He run, hey, 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 tap me on the shoulder and shit. And I'm ready to fight. I'm like, who the fuck are you? You think I'm stealing something? No, it's just his ass saying, remember me in high school? I'm like, what the fuck? Oh, he's, ran. He ran up on you Like fast. I was stealing, bro. Like people got scared. You remember me from high school? We were in the same wing. Hell yeah. fucking yeah. We were the same weight, Brandon. Because he's a big guy. Like you see him. Big guy. I can't believe. <laughs> the fuck? I can't believe. <laughs> I don't even know, man. Oh, man. I was parched. <laughs> what? I have no clue why, where it's dude, coming why from. Why were you thirsty? Oh shit! Hold on, my bad. Flabbergasted. I was flabbergasted. Part. Oh shit! Oh, my, my bad. God. Did you think? I thought I don't know why the fuck. He thought he thought parched. Parched. Man, my flabbergasted, dude. <laughs> not even in the same I was realm. Not parched. Never I was changed. a little thirsty. I guess I don't know. <laughs> he said I was a little thirsty. Yeah, I got some boba. It's pretty gross. And Boba is nasty. Yeah, no, no, you gotta get at the right place though, man. Like that dude, shit with the balls in it. Yeah, you gotta Why go. Do to, I want to eat my drink. I just don't understand it. You gotta go to Kung Fu Tea. That shit is so good. You been to Kung Fu Tea? No, I have not. Dude, they got like milk in it and shit. Yeah, I mean, you could do milk. You could do. I mean, you could change it <laughs> you up. You don't man. fuck with milk. Nah, don't touch the stuff. Sonic had slushes. You remember that? Slushy Boba. <laughs> Oh yeah, yeah. No, yeah. I knew that dude know what you're that talking about. Good, I yeah. have no idea what you're saying. Dude, you the boba try. things with Slushy the slushy boba. Yeah, that yeah. sounds terrible. It was but I think so they good. was real little small ones. Milk, right? mm-hmm. but milk in the. Oh no, slushy. no, it's just regular. You get blue coconut, blue ocean. You just got boba with it. Oh, dude, the ocean water from yeah. Sonic does mm-hmm. go hard though. That's my shit. You get that's that R44 one. size. It's mm-hmm. basically like a fucking gallon. Yeah. <laughs> what about vanilla? I like vanilla coke. Yep. Vanilla slushy. Yeah, they got a vanilla slush. I never had that. So good. Really? Yeah, it's really good. Huh. Like, I'm not opposed it. to it, but I don't know. That might be too know. much vanilla. No, is it, is it ice cream or just straight slush? Oh, no, it's straight slush. Like, I don't know how I feel about that. I don't know, man. It's good. Like, y'all, I recommend y'all to try that Vanilla, shit. nothing else. Nothing, just vanilla. And it's, it's just vanilla and ice. Yeah, vanilla, vanilla ice. and ice, yeah. Uh, mm. Now I'll try it's it. right ice. there. Now yeah. I'm on board. <laughs> if you got that pop culture... Try that vanilla ice. <laughs> you got that pop culture from the early 90s and mm-hmm. one of the worst rappers of all time. That's dude. my guy. Go to Sonic. Ninja Rap was that shit. Never heard <laughs> of that. Go Ninja, go Ninja, go. What? What is that? I only heard Baby the Got Teenage back. Mutant Ninja Turtles? And Vanilla Ice did the song for him? Go Ninja, go Ninja, Wait, which go. one? The first one or the second one? Second one. Oh, now I know about the second one, but I never heard that song. Brandon, oh, God, he's so he's horrible. having one of those things where he oh. thinks we just play know, along, dude. I, know, just dude. Play I, along. I mean, you look, I could tell you, man, but you know, I, Brandon I, does know because a because lot. Because I'm old, about I can tell you shit, shit from 1908, man, like shows and shit. What show was you watching from 1908? Well, I wasn't watching this show. TVs weren't even the, the worst. <laughs> what's sad is, you know, in 1915 they hit with fucking KKK. Birth of the Nation saying, remember Thomas Edison? Loved oh, that I shit. do remember Birth of the Nation. Yeah, that was the big ass hit, and then people they had protesters. That was cool. Like 1915, that's crazy. It's not really crazy, but it's cool. If you can go back to any time ever, where would you go? You'd be immune to like racism and uh, and all that shit <laughs> and diseases. You get to stay there for a week. I'm going to like ancient Greece, and I'm going to be a philosopher, but I'm going to be like the first stand-up comedian. Where I'm just saying philosophy, but none of it makes sense. No, it's not me. actually supposed to help anybody with their life. You're just supposed to laugh. It's pretty sick, dude. Yeah, that sounds tight. They're going to kill you, though. They probably would. They, yeah. they, they killed kill. Socrates just because yeah. he asked a lot of questions. Yep, exactly. They're going to huh. fuck you up over there telling you uh, <laughs> ancient, <laughs> ancient Greece jokes. I, want, I don't think like anybody had a <laughs> sense of humor before like 1800. Yeah, I right? mean, Shakespeare, he had some humor. Yeah. Oh, true. He was weird, though. True. It's a weird they thing. had to have, though. Because there were people. Yeah. Everybody like you. Somebody falls, you laugh. Yeah. You know, well, I do. Like Charlie yeah. Chaplin. Yeah. Man, no uh, crazy. no words. Oh, the silent movie? Yeah, he uh-huh. just fall and hit his head and shit. And we should start it. doing our podcast like a silent movie. Oh, where it's just like, yeah. we're like doing something. And then, oh, that's a skit idea. We should make a silent that's movie a good skit. Idea. And Damn. you know, it's like a whole frame where it's just one sentence on a black background. <laughs> and it's playing some like shitty music. Yep. And then like yeah, the scene it. comes off and we like a 1970s rock band with drugs and shit. And we like, <laughs> I don't think we're going to make this shit, bro. And you, you know what I mean? When people fall out with the band and shit. We went from silent we movies. Said- <laughs> no, no, no. Hear me out. I'm saying it's You're saying a night- different skit? 
No, it's the same, but you have to hear me out. We 1920s. They're like, and action. As soon as we finish, like, Charlie Chaplin, somebody pull up with the cocaine. Oh, Like, like okay. roadies and shit. I'm kind of into it. <laughs> and then they have a fallout, and then they get old, and it's just like, like you remember back in the day? Uh, Next step, find cocaine. We'll use, <laughs> we'll use flour and sugar. It'll be all right. It's yeah. going to hurt, but it'll be all right. No, nah, I'm not doing it. <laughs> Vitamin B12. <laughs> yeah, all right. So, mm. Snort some creatine. We'll be all right. <laughs> so what year? What about you? What year about you, man? What? Like, what, what year do you want to be born in? would you travel in? back to? Oh, oh, I forgot to ask the question. <laughs> <laughs> but I would, I would go back to Egypt when they were building the pyramids, like right when they were about done with it. Yeah, you could have went either yeah. way. I could see it. What do you mean? You could have been the one telling people yeah. to build them or been one of the right. ones building mm-hmm. them. You got that ambiguousness about mm-hmm. it. Give me some sandals like Jalen wears. I'm good. <laughs> That's all I need. Socks were not invented Mm-mm. yet. You don't do socks. <laughs> <laughs> Straight thong uh, sandals out there. Hey, where are you going? Uh, are you talking about what year would I be born or what year would I just go to? You get you get to stay there for a week. Mm, okay, Immune probably. to everything, but you still can get killed. Oh shit! Oh, okay, well, I mean, if racism not there, maybe the thirties, forties, twenties. See, that's it, and that's a good one now. Hell yeah! In the U.S., like they just yeah. see you as a white guy, a white yeah. guy in the forties and fifties. But Come that's on his now. disguise. Yeah, Rick, my <laughs> alter ego. It just, but if the mustache falls off, your cover oh, is blown. Oh yeah, I'm fucked, man. <laughs> shit. They're like, wait a minute. <laughs> It'd be like that scene from Life when they were trying to get them fucking. You remember that breakfast they wanted? Yeah, you, you remember you remember on life with Eddie yeah. Murphy and, and yeah, when they yeah. were trying to get that. For, what were they trying to get the pie? The pie. With it? Yeah, and he then said, they're like, "How much money will it take to turn these whites only pies to nigga pies?" <laughs> then the shotgun came <laughs> out. I turned you into nigga pie. <laughs> <laughs> what was the Eddie Murphy? He was like, "I'm good." Yeah. Then fucking what, Martin Lawrence. You you said about twenty miles down the road. Yeah. <laughs> like, That's Hell my shit. No. Yeah, I saw that like so many times, man. Hell yeah, ain't nobody doing nothing. Mm-hmm. I be that baby's daddy. <laughs> jangalang, jangalang. So you don't know nothing about it, do you? With Bernie no, Mac, life. Not, dude. We got. I, I know. I've no. I, I got to write you a list of black movies that you got to watch. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You seen Friday? All of them? Oh, I've seen the first one. Oh yeah, Man, that's the best the one. Second. But the next Friday is the shit too. Mm-hmm. Actually, all of them funny. Yeah. How many are there, dude? Three. You got Friday, next Friday, then Friday after next. Friday after next with Cat Williams, uh, Terry Crews. Post or pre-jail, Cat Williams. Pre. Before, I think this is before. This is right when he was about to blow up. Gotcha. Wait, there's three of them. Mm-hmm. Friday, next Friday, Friday after next. Wait, I so think what was all the second bangers. one? Hmm? What was the second one then? Like, what was it, Mike? Epps? Next Friday, with Mike Epps when they was in. Oh the, uh, yeah, that one. Rancho Cucamonga. Right. Wasn't Pinky in there? Yeah. Okay. Pink. Good. Good. Yeah, yeah. Good. That's Thank that God. shit. All right, I got it. It's a good show. Man. Joker. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Don't look at me, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Yo, you know they make a new Rush Hour though. With, oh, they with are? Alex yeah. and Jalen. <laughs> Wait, no, my bad. Beverly Hills Cops. They make a new fucking Beverly Hills Cops with Eddie Murphy. Oh, and I'm down for that. And he playing like he gonna do all the shit too. Yeah, I'm I'm down for mm-hmm. that. The, the Beverly Hill, Hills Cops are are that shit. Uh, Forty eight hours that shit too. For all you young bugs, if y'all watching, these some banger movies. Now. True that. Mm-hmm. They he's, come he's out with bullshit facts. though now. Yeah. Like in terms of comedy, a hundred percent. Definitely, com- the whole movie industry is kind of fucked. But yeah, but like you'll have like stuff with good stories, but the acting shit, or oh, stuff yeah. with shitty acting and good stories. They can never like get it all the way together on these streaming services. Yeah, yeah and it's just a money grab. I feel like mm-hmm. just putting yeah. out a movie, make some money. It's Best not like there's no artistry, man. Mm-hmm. For real, you do need that shit. Mm-hmm. You seen that new movie coming out that's fucked up called like CGI Gator? Yeah, I, w- I would be down to watch that though. Dude, it's funny as fuck looks, because looks they're good. they're they're acknowledging how bad their like graphics are. So they're like, look at this alligator floating in the air, killing all the kids going to high school. It's, dude, it's funny. Like the trailer, I showed her. Too, <laughs> she was like, it's like a parody of mm-hmm. uh, of like a superhero movie yeah. or parody no, of a. It's a horror movie. Yeah, like a horror of a like oh. a Meg, you know, like yeah. Meg and all that shit. Mm-hmm. Parody of one of those. I don't understand. You have to be brain dead to enjoy those movies. I feel like which ones. Like the Meg or like, oh yeah. I swear the Sci Fi Channel. Like, have you ever watched the Sci Fi Channel? Yeah, they have like no, giant no. octopus versus mega alligator, like some bullshit mm. like that. There's this one movie I watched called Ice Spiders, and it's like <laughs> in the, it's like in the Antarctica or whatever, some secret government base, and they're doing tests on these spiders, and they get real big, and that's the whole point of the. It's fucking terrible. Oh god. Mm. See, those are those movies when you get done with them, you're mad that you watched them. Yeah, you're but like, you still watch them. them. Yeah, you if still Sharknado's watch. If Sharknado's on, 
No, I <laughs> watched Sharknado, watch Sharknado though. Sharknado. That's uh, There's like nine of those movies. Yeah, but they're so bad, they're good, and they know what they're playing into it. I can get yeah. down with that. Dude, the scene where he's like standing there with the chainsaw and the shark flies and like eats him, but he like chainsaws his way out of the shark. <laughs> never seen <laughs> What? Yo, what about Cocaine Bear, bro? Oh yeah, that? I thought it was. I thought it was all right. <laughs> I didn't watch it. But Dude, you gotta watch it. That show is so. It's so stupid. It's good. My favorite is to watch the fucking like Indian Bollywood movies. Oh, where the Bollywood. Like, I like the original ones, but I also like the remakes they make of like Western movies. Mm-hmm. That shit is funny. But the Nigerian movies go crazy. Oh, dude, dude I was just an go action. watch. Go go watch Saving Captain Alex. It's it's the craziest movie you'll ever see. It doesn't make sense. It's on YouTube. It's free to watch. It's okay. my favorite. I'm watching that tonight. He's Me like too. riding a tiger that turns into a helicopter. Like no, there's no <laughs> plot. It's just like the coolest thing a nine year old could think of. They actually do, and they're like swinging on vines, like shooting guns, but the effects are so bad. It's like little emojis pop up for like the flash on the gun. It's terrible, but it's awesome. I'm watching I love that it too. Hey, oh so yeah, good. I'm watching that tonight. Me All too. Right. You guys want to watch some clips? Hell yeah. to the yeah. Clip of the week. No. All right. Go. Like I had a sergeant, and uh, he was this big, spoiled black guy. Kind of looked like LL Cool J if he did construction. I'm not paying attention good enough. But he had these small ass legs, and he like walk like this. His feet can never really catch up to his knees. <laughs> he looked like he was born without calf muscles. <laughs> he looked like a paraplegic that could walk. You know what I mean? <laughs> Just uh, legs were not in use. When he had the softest voice, he would tell me about the smart car, go get that over there. That's how I know. <laughs> no lie. And after every sentence, he would moan a little bit, like, mm. <laughs> car, go get that right there. Mm. <laughs> could you imagine taking order? Man, I love that joke. Me too. Appreciate it. I learned how to fix it uh, at the show. Yeah. December 4th. Shout out Carson Elmore, Ash Kennedy for hosting it. Oh, yeah. And uh, it was the an all veteran show at the shop. It was fun. It was really fun. Um, but I fixed it because I, instead of at that time, I was like, and he moaned. But the, now when I did it there, I just said the whole thing. Like I did the voice and moaned first. And yeah. then I was like, you know, just addressing it. Could you imagine taking orders from this guy? It's funny, man. I appreciate it. The moan it, shit, I, I love it. And he does I think that that's like real. a real issue that people have. Because I've known of other people that do that. It's like they just make a noise after saying every sentence. Mm-hmm. It's like whatever the fuck Bruce Willis has, where he can't speak anymore, but it's yeah. the opposite. You just make extra noises, but it's not Tourette's. Yeah. It's just like, mm. Mm-hmm. He, he said, what is wrong with you soldiers? Mm. <laughs> mm. <laughs> like what the fuck is that? You ain't nothing but a bully, son car. Like, you my boss, nigga. What the fuck you talking about? And you big as hell. You just shouldn't be moaning like this after you uh after you say words. That's how I know <clears throat> being gay is not a choice. Yeah. Some people are just born like that. <laughs> he he ain't gay, I'm telling you, he's not gay at all. He's got he's got a wife and everything. He just has the softest voice and moans. Did he moan while he watched you pee in the cup? No, he would never. He was he was he was a staff sergeant, so they don't got to do that shit. Oh, he's too good for that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Dude, why was that my PE or my fucking middle school teacher? You remember that yeah. scientist teacher I was telling y'all about that dressed up like Medea and shit? He'd always be pull up me. and be cussing and shit. And then I was like, can I cuss? He's like, mm, well, yo ass, you can't cuss. Hey, hey, get out my fucking room. Weird ass shit. You know what I mean? Just because I was like, I was like, well, if no. you gonna cuss and I say, <laughs> if, you, if you can say, if you can call us asses and shit and cuss us out, why can't I say damn? He was like, cause that's my damn classroom. Mm. Yeah, he had his big ass fucking knot in his head and shit, like a dinner roll. <laughs> like Logan's Roadhouse. Every time I saw his story. Now he had a fucking a principal. Hell no. Yeah, probably. He was like Hellboy. Boy. Boy. He was crazy <laughs> ass. Man, he was weird. He wore tight shit and stuff and always walked like this. But he said he wasn't gay. Nothing wrong with that. Gay's yeah, good. <laughs> Nice. <laughs> <laughs> Roll JJ. Go. It's really fucked up. The, the last unfortunate truth that I've learned in my life is that child soldiers are a non issue. Because if you keep them around long enough, they're just regular soldiers. They stay alive, they just get older, they're no longer children. It's really a self solving problem. With 
Therefore, it's not really a problem at all. I don't, I don't know how much I believe in crime. <laughs> I like those back to back. <laughs> Child soldiers aren't a problem. I do not believe in crime. But, yeah, I mean, say what you want about the joke, dude. The logic is solid. Yeah, yeah. I like the joke. Me too. I love it. That's why I put it on here. I know it didn't get the pop there, but have you, you said you have you done that joke anywhere else besides boxcar? I was gonna do it before, but I forgot the mm. I forgot that mm. part. The joke, the whole joke is three unfortunate truths that I've learned, and the first time I only said the first two, oh, I just yeah. forgot the third one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like, I'm about to say three unfortunate truths, and then I only <laughs> said two, and I was like, that's my time. I got off stage, <laughs> but yeah, I like that joke. I thought of that when I remember this old YouTube video that came out. Like 11 years ago, it's called Coney 2012, where this dude in Africa had like gathered up an army of child soldiers, mm -hmm. and somebody had made a video about it trying to expose him and like bring awareness and shit. And I was like, that was 11 years ago. Yeah. If the children were like between the ages of seven and 12, they're all adults now. <laughs> so they're just regular soldiers. <laughs> It's like the opposite of <laughs> like true. die the hero or live long enough to see yourself become the villain. It's you know die the child soldier or just live long enough to be a normal one. Yeah, it's like it's like playing football as a kid. You know what I mean? You get older, you are up there playing football, <laughs> Similar, playing Brandon. wrestling. You know what I mean? Similar. And then you go to state. <laughs> yeah, sometimes your first wrestling match is publicly televised. Oh yeah, like my ass, man. That shit. What you had a publicly televised? Yes, I did, man. Should we insert it right? You know what? Fuck it. Y'all can see it. <laughs> You, you can catch it. it on Channel 4. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, no joke. You probably searched this shit up, man. It's fucking wild. I, I guarantee you, if people found that clip and like understood the backstory behind it, they'd play it on their podcast and just die laughing. Oh, what, yeah. What happened? Okay, so what happened was I was brand new. I was very, because I joined this shit to get strong. That's why I joined the show. I was like, yo, man, I want to be like whooping ass because I remember I got put in like this corner and shit. And then I went up to do. And I told Bob, like, man, I'm going to get built and whoop your ass. And he's like, oh, don't do that. Nah, that's weird shit to tell me. But I did do that. I joined wrestling, and I was ass. Like, they literally chased me around the thing because they were trying to tough me up. They're like, we're going to try to whoop his ass in the corner and shit. And then my coach was like, Brandon, we need you to go to this regional thing and wrestle for us because we don't have enough people. Because, dude, we would pull up in fucking jeans and shit in a normal shirt. I pull up in the Spider-Man shirt or something. We were getting R2-D2 singlets. But I pulled up in there, got my ass whooped. It was so bad, they thought I was dancing. They laughing at me. I'm out there kicking at them. You can't kick and wrestling. That's fucking illegal. And then usually, because this is the stage where I would come and warn you. I was like, man, I'm brand new. Don't whoop my ass. That's me begging <laughs> you to whoop my ass. But thankfully, I got better. And, um, I mean, shit, one day if you ever see me, I'll show you the end result. You'd be like, hey, man, play the end result. I got you. You say you gonna you say you gonna fuck somebody up, right? No, no, no. He said, nigga, you run exactly up on me. What it sounded hey, like. Don't think I'm pussy, bitch. Yeah. <laughs> Motherfucker. He got dude, Hell he yeah. has the crazy eyes. I've never <laughs> seen him do that before. Do that. <laughs> Hell yeah. Oh shit, dude. Brandon, oh, if oh, you time. told me you were a child soldier, I would not be surprised. <laughs> I know. <laughs> like I'd be like, oh, okay. That, My dumb ass that aligns with everything. They would have manipulated me, man. Hell yeah, they would have got all of us when we were kids. Yeah, they'd be like, Brandon, you want... No, you can do that shit now. But Brandon, anyway. <laughs> Brandon would fall for the ISIS sales oh, pitch. Oh, yeah. Be like, hey, man, you just put this jacket on, go over there, press this button, 72 versions yeah. <laughs> right after. Oh, shit. Depends how old I was. I was desperate as a child sometimes, man. You was what? I was a desperate-ass kid, man. I was like 14. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't have shit. <laughs> what? <laughs> What's going on? What do you man, mean? Man, I, okay, I would have took it. Oh, okay. Like, if okay. they would have offered that, they were like, you get 72 versus shit. I would have fucked. I would have Shit, I'll the be war. there. That'll make 73. Shit, I would have been <laughs> in any fucking war you off. That's all you had to say. I remember they were always trying to get me in. They were like, Brandon, if you come to the military, you'd be on TV. Right, just give me some bitches. No, not now. <laughs> not now. Brandon, take it now. Back then. Back then. Back then. Back then. Back then. Not now. <laughs> She knows. I don't know yeah. what to say. Uh, I, <laughs> I don't know what to and say. And I don't think you can follow it, so. Hold on, hey. hold on. I got you. That was Rick talking. This is Brandon. <laughs> Rick is a crazy guy. My bad. <laughs> if you don't know, Brandon's when fiance is, is sitting right over here in the corner. <laughs> <laughs> He's going to get in trouble, dude. Oh, oh yeah. Wait till that car ride. Oh, shit. <laughs> I swear, dude, when he takes the fake mustache on and it's just his real mustache, that is black Jake Muncie, dude. Take it oh, off yeah. real quick. That's him. Yeah, dude. 
<laughs> you serious, Light up every man? room they walk into, man. Man, shit. Shit, I don't I like know. horses. <laughs> Come no, shots I don't candy I fucking cane. kill a horse, bitch. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> That's a good Jake. You guys are going to say you sound like Jake. I know, I'm getting there. <laughs> He's been practicing. I got a perfect the dude part because, dude, that dude is all like, his dude is so iconic. You be like, you know what I mean, dude? And I be like, man, I got to learn that, man. Dude, dude yeah, your dude is so dude. cool, man. Shout out to you. I say, dude, I'm <laughs> just like, oh, Jake shit, Monson. dude. It's like my damn. <laughs> all right. So that's it for our part. Mm-hmm. This interview coming up next is going to be a great, great one, right? Hell yeah. Hell yeah. She's going to spit some game, put us on game. Spit some bars, maybe. Hell for her. I mean, if we're lucky. She's been known to. She's been known. It's in her character. Yeah, yeah, yeah. she's been known to do it. All right, and we'll see you in a second. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, today I'm going to tell you some real shit that's about to happen. You're going to see two contestants. You've heard of Larry versus Bird, Muhammad Ali versus Frazier. But have you ever heard of two greats like Clyde Elrod and Roscoe Renafin? These two are going to go head to head, class to class. Before we start seeing some cool real shit, we're going to show you what these two have to say. These two fucking gladiators. Let's go. Right now I'm here with a legend. I'm a big fan. I grew up watching this man. He's the fucking man. His name is Roscoe Renafin. What you going to do out there? Well, yeah, I'm Roscoe or Nathan. And you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to tear this little boy up because he needs to know. He needs to know this is where it's at, Roscoe's town. Yeah, this is Roscoe's town. Man, I was a little boy. No mustache, none of that shit, none of this hair. I was bald and shit. And this man inspired me. He really did. You inspired hundreds, man. Thank you for that shit. Well, I appreciate it. And I'm sorry about your uncle doing that to you. Uh, what, we're, what, we're going, what we're going for here is a nice glass a, whisk, uh, a good old whiskey crown, because I'm classy. Mm. You know, a nice kachiba, you know, because mm. I'm rich. Yeah. Because I'm the best. I'm the seven-time world champion, goddammit. Mm-hmm. And this little young motherfucker thinks he's going to come and take my crown? Hell no. Shit. You think you're going to come around and mess with this guy, Roscoe? Fuck all that. That's my man. I got all his pictures. I got his shoes, everything. Even his own cigars. This is his brand. I'll see you December 25th. Mm-hmm. You. Christmas Day gonna come early, bitch. Today I'm here this evening with a man who uh, claims to be a horseshoe racer. He's new, he's saying he's up and coming, and he always got that dip, even though his shots ain't shit. Here he is. Clyde Rod Mound. You talk a lot of shit, man. I'll knock that mustache off your face. Continue on. Man, Roscoe Ray Nathan looked like a grasshopper with Parkinson's. Uh, you got a nickname? I'm sorry. I never really met you, man. That's why I don't know how you're doing. Like, honestly, you got to respect the business. Hey, I, you might be cool. We can hang out at to get a beer. No, no. I'm sorry about what your uncle did to you, but you can't do that to me. Look here, man. I, what my uncle did was do some shit I'm not going to talk about on this broadcast, but just know it's okay. That's part of the family plan with me, man. It's all right. It's all right. It's hard to pitch shoes in a teddy bear suit. You heard him, folks. It's hard to pitch shoes in a teddy bear suit. Well, before we close out of here, do you have something to tell the audience and everybody that's watching right now? Yeah, the top three greatest athletes of all time are Larry Bird, Luka Doncic, and Arnold Palmer. The fucking despair he just said. That's it, folks. See ya on Sunday. I tell you what, come December 25th, I'm not only going to win, I'm going to dominate. Because to me, pitching shoes is a way of life. It ain't a fucking game. I understand this is a little sport we got to come out and play. But for me, pitching shoes is my life. It's my culture. It's my bread and butter. It's everything I fucking do. What you got to understand is Isaiah Thomas scored 60 points after his sister died in a car accident. I got seven child support payments due. What the fuck you think I'm going to go out there and do? I ain't going to miss. I can't fucking miss. Roscoe Ray Nathan couldn't hit water if he fell out of a fucking boat.
You understand me? He couldn't hit the broad side of a barn. He's got alcoholism. He shakes. He's got fucking Parkinson's disease. I fucked a girl with a horseshoe one time. That's how I invested I am in this shit. I had one end in the pink, one end in the stink. Turned that vibrator on, metal started clanging together, sound like a damn LMG shooting a gong. You understand me? The old saying is close only counts in horseshoes and hand grenades, and I tell you what, I'm going to be fucking closer come December 25th. You understand what I'm saying to you? This ain't an opinion. This is facts. You can write it in stone. Yeah, I've been doing this for a long time, boys. Long time. Seven years. Seven years I've been at this pitch and choose. Yeah, and I'm the best. You know, I don't sugarcoat around it. You know, I don't beat around the bush. I am the best. When I go home, none of this comes off. You understand me? This is how I live eating shit. Right here. Shoes. That was some wild shit, huh? Well then, guess what? On Christmas Day, December 25th, you want to see some crazy shit? You want to see people like King Kong or Godzilla? Then come on down and pay. I know I'm going to be there. Shoes. Oh, you fucked up. Okay. Ready? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, hold on one more time. Roscoe. Ray Nathan. Ray Nathan. Nathan. Clyde Elroy. Yeah. Clyde Elroy. Hold on. So we got we got Roscoe Ray Nathan. And then you got you got Clint L. Rye. Roscoe Ray Nathan. And then you got Clyde L. Rye. Got two of the greatest horseshoe races I've ever seen in my life. Roscoe Ray Nathan and then Clyde L. Roy. Two of I'm gonna go. Go. Today we have two of the greatest horse shooters I've ever seen. We have Roscoe Ray Nathan and then getting us off Elroy. <laughs> oh, hey. Pause it, pause it. And this motherfucker, Brent, what's your name? Clyde Elrod. I tell you, we're going to round them up. That's what we're going to do. We're going to round them up. Hell yeah, we're going to round them up like a monkey with no ass. Now, Tell them how bad you're gonna fuck. Randy St. James ain't gonna take shit from me. <laughs> what, what's your name? Clyde Elroy. It's Michael Jordan, it's Rocky, and then it is my nigga. Oh, can't say that word. <sighs> Should I try to do a backflip and throw it? Can you back, do a backflip? No. Hell no, you're gonna That's die. Funnier, you will die, dog. <laughs> I got it, dude. No. You gonna be there? I know I will. This week's featured comedian. Something I realized recently, your name impacts your personality and the person you are, 100%. I think your name impacts who you are as a person. A couple of, couple of real world examples. Uh, raise your hands in here if you know somebody genuinely cool named Eugene. Oh, 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 one hand up because he wants to put his hand up for attention. Everyone else is telling the truth. Nobody cool. <laughs> Eugene exists. If you name your kid Eugene, you're setting him up for social failure, all right? Names matter. Example number two, I once turned down a really hot guy for a date because his name was Keith. <laughs> Deal breaker. Names matter. Today, we have a very special guest, as always. You know, uh, the comedian we have for you today is multi-talented. Singer-songwriter actress, social media star, hilarious comedian, amazing rapper, surprisingly, maybe the only great rapper to ever come out of Salt Lake City or Utah <laughs> as a state, honestly. We are we have the pleasure of having Sierra Moses on the podcast today. Hey. Thank you guys so much for having me. I am so stoked to be here. Hell yeah, we're I stoked really to am. have you, for real. And she's a beast, ladies and gents. Like I haven't seen a room where she hasn't murdered I don't care who it is. I am homicidal. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I saw you do uh, 15 at the speakeasy one time. And normally if it's a 15-minute set, that's when I'll take my bathroom break. You know, I don't feel too bad because I still steal a lot of the, the comedian's jokes or whatever. Uh -huh. But I stayed for the whole 15, and I have to piss a lot. <laughs> oh, thank you. I did way too much Mormon stuff during that set. I appreciate I you sitting that. through it. <laughs> that was funny, though. People liked it. Thanks, yeah. You I had so much audience. I was trying to chop it down. I'm like, I had to do all of it, and let's see what gets laughs, and that's the whole keep. So you're raised Mormon. Uh, I, yeah. Oh, you well, are Mormon. Are you still Mormon? No, I was baptized Mormon when I was 10, for real, for real. Mm, so okay. my grandpa's Mormon. 
My mom was one of seven kids. That's typical, pretty typical. And she and all of her siblings left the church at one point or another. Super, you know, disappointing to my grandpa. Almost as disappointing as when she popped me out at 21 <laughs> with no husband. But Ooh. here we are. <laughs> Um, yeah, and so she didn't raise me Mormon. I kind of took an interest in it just because all my friends were Mormon. Like yeah. Growing up in Utah, a lot of people are Mormon. So growing up in Salt Lake, I knew a lot of kids who were Mormon. All my friends were going to church. It was like a social activity. It was something everyone talked about. And so I wanted to go just because a lot of my friends were. My grandpa used to read me the Book of Mormon like when I'd go have sleepovers there, and he baptized me. And that was like cool for him. He was really excited yeah. about that. Mm-hmm. Um, so it was cool. Like I, I have a relationship with my grandpa, and in part because of that but the religion i kind of stepped away from in high school i was like this is not for me right yeah 13 14 i was like Mm-mm. so i've met two mormons <laughs> and i and this is my thing two people and i got you yeah, <laughs> yeah. you know two people from That's a demographic need, really. i'm here but they were both really really nice yeah very nice people no, are, is, is that what it is yeah they're mormons really, are really nice people yeah yeah that's how it is for me. And they're too. cool too. They were cool. I didn't know like the whole thing. I didn't know they were Mormon for years. And then I was like, oh, it was my, one of my lieutenants. And yeah. I was like, oh, you're Mormon? Well, he was cool as shit. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. A lot of them are like just really cool, normal people. Mm-hmm. I mean, yeah, there's stereotypes, and I make jokes about Mormons all the time, but a lot of them are just like really nice, generous people who just have a couple of beliefs that are a little <laughs> questionable. But who does? Hey, your it? grandpa would people. be proud though. I learned more about Mormonism during her set at the Speakeasy than I have I ever know, have I... otherwise. I went to Salt Lake City with my grandma. We're not Mormon or whatever, but we went to like the Tabernacle, yeah. and the, the genealogy shit. But I had no idea. I didn't know you got your own planet. That's kind of dope. She yeah. almost sold me on it, dude. Hold on, what right. happened now? So the whole thing in the Mormon religion, like if you follow all the right rules, do all the things right. Mm-hmm go on a mission, go to church every Sunday, then after you die, you get to become the god of your own planet. So they think that our god at one point was just a regular human on his own planet. He did all the right things for his god, and then he got to become our god. You know what? I'm down with that. It's a whole cycle. It's a whole loop. It's weird. It's interesting. I'd be down with that better than you'd rather be a god of a planet or go to heaven. (laughs) (laughs) Which one? I'd just say heaven. I don't think I need the power. I just need the community. Oh, no, I play if, dude, with if you toys. reach that mental nirvana, it doesn't matter where you are, dude. So you could be in a Seven Eleven bathroom she for the rest hi- of your life. A peach high noon in my hand, <laughs> little sun. Come on, couldn't ask for more. Some good friends. Hell yeah. <laughs> this might be heaven, dude. All these <laughs> bright be. lights in Holy here. Holy shit! This Did might I be die it. And go to heaven right now? <laughs> you are the first guest to bring us a gift, though. Yeah. Oh yeah, do we want to do second. that now? We got to say second. Who is the first? Nico, right behind you. Oh, uh, pull, pull it up. Pull it up. I, didn't, I forgot I got to this bring it some up. some of Brandon's equipment he brought it. from home. Oh, hell yeah. That's so cool. That's way cooler than the gift I brought, you guys. <laughs> Fuck. You paid a whopping three ninety eight. dollars <laughs> It's still it's a size still medium if anybody's That's a bargain at twice the price. When he came in with it, I thought he just had a bike. <laughs> <laughs> That's the normal assumption. Yeah. He came in with a motorcycle, but now he bought that just for y'all. He What'd wears biker-type outfits, dude. Yeah, okay, so you guys were talking about all the wall art you guys... Have or how you oh, wanted more wall shit. art on the last one. Have you seen it yet? No, no, I haven't seen so it. So this is just some spare wall art I had laying around the house. I love that, dude. You don't feel obligated to put all of it up. Oh, no, it's There's all going a, up. Oh, it's not a map? all winners. We're redoing that. So we got a world map. Oh, There's yeah. more. Okay, hold, hold that. Hold okay, that. hell yeah. You don't, yeah. Damn. Uh, we got a <laughs> glory <laughs> shot from the Breakfast Club. Hell yeah, dude. Breakfast Club glory shot. Oh, shit. Okay. Now that's, okay. that might be fair <laughs> right there. Look at those yeah, gloves. Yeah, we got quite the selection. Yeah. I, you know, I didn't know what you guys liked, so I wanted to bring a variety. Feel free to keep one or all. And then that's uh, some COVID art I did when I was really depressed. For real? Yep. This is yours? Dom's oh, holding all the shit where I can't oh, see it. Oh, my bad, yeah, my I bad, like, bad. I like put tape on oh, it. Da- I like put tape oh, on yeah. it and paint all the different colors blue. And then I like did it around it with Sharpie. It's not my best work, but you know what? We're so going to yeah. sell it's this. It's the heart that counts. We're going to flip this one. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> flip it Ooh, for like two grand. Coffee, and then coffee. some sweets. Some okay. toffees Fuck from yeah. Trader oh, Joe's. Yeah. I love Trader Joe's. See, because Dom didn't pull through with the desserts I these weeks. There's through. only two in there. I'm sorry. I didn't bring three. Oh, and good. then, oh, yeah, this is just like a tapestry that I ordered that I accidentally got in the wrong size, so it's like weirdly <laughs> small, but it would go on a wall somewhere if, if Hell needed. yeah. Oh, damn. Dude, oh, we got yeah. wall art now. Yeah, this so is you got some choices, just some options. I mean, yeah. peruse, inspiration, if nothing else. Oh, yeah. What Now, what I'm thinking put that, is, put that one up there. what is the Breakfast <laughs> Club of, of Huntsville Comedy? Who, who oh, that learning? is a good Ooh. question. Okay. Fucking JJ. I, I, I'm putting this out there first and foremost. So this is Jake Muncy. 
I forgot his name. The dude that said he was going to shoot up the school, but it was a flare gun. That is Jake Muncy. Okay, yeah, Jake Muncy is uh, Michael Anthony Hall, and his I can't forget his Brian. That's his character's name. Okay, the nerd. yeah, Brian. Gotcha. And then we got as the jock JJ. Yeah. Oh, I don't think so, dude. I feel like I'm more. You're not him. I don't know. No. no. Who's the bad no. boy? Who's the? Who's I want to say Alex. Comedy? You got to say Bryce. He's the toughest oh, comedian say, in Huntsville. I was going to say Nico. Okay. Just I think yeah, he I could pull see off that. the role. Nico would definitely pull off the role. Yeah. But his personality. I can see him wearing these gloves. Yeah. The fingerless yeah. <laughs> leather gloves. Yeah, I think it's the hair maybe that's doing it for me. Um, okay, and what, then what? Ashlyn is <laughs> basket case. Yeah, the girl that like poured all and the sugar Raina on the as, thing. And Raina as Molly Ringwald. Did you say you're not Molly? No, I don't think I need to be in it. Okay, because you're here. Maybe we'll Raina and I could share Molly. She's being humble, dude. Yeah, yeah. Raina and I can share Molly. She's the Hell principal. Yeah. We do. We have. She's more <laughs> redhead. She's more redhead than I am. Raina. Yeah. Is she redhead. More, more so than me. Kim. Blondish, blondish. Kim's redheaded. <laughs> oh, yeah. Kim. Kim oh. might be the principal though. Kim might be yeah. the principal. Yeah, yeah. You mess with the bull, dude. You get, get the, the horns. horns. <laughs> Good stuff. Hey, yeah. But horns yeah, down. Vote on it. We could do like a poll, and everyone can vote for who they think. Hell is. yeah. I'm down for it. So you're still using a Hotmail account in 2023. I have like three different email accounts, okay. dude. It's bad. I have like a work email address, then I have a personal one that has my middle name in it, so it's super hard to spell. And then so I have a normal one that's just like a Hotmail account my mom made for me when I was young, just so it had my name in it. Thanks. Oh, nice. Thanks, Krista. How she many? set you up nice. She did, and that's what I use for business inquiries. <laughs> oh, okay. How many unread emails do you have in that account? Too many. <laughs> yeah, too many, right? Too many. Also, uh, shout out Jack Douglas. The way he wrote it in the thing is so funny. <laughs> Using a Hotmail email in 2023, brave. <laughs> <laughs> Jack's so sassy, dude. Love that guy. You know, you know. I have a G- My other one's Gmail. I have a personal Gmail. Okay, okay. So that's I got better. both. I got a variety. That's better. That's more classy. Yeah, I think yeah. so. Yeah. I didn't even know they still had Hotmail. Hotmail is the best. My mom had a Hotmail email address, but hers was like a way better email address than mine. I've talked about it in my set before. It was slc underscore hottie at hotmail.com. Oh, I do think shit. I remember that joke. Yeah, it was a joy to put on forms in elementary school. Oh, yeah. <laughs> See, Hotmail was before my time. <laughs> my teachers would be like, oh, you're... You said your parents' email address, not a porn star's. And I was like, I <laughs> didn't understand the directions. <laughs> porn stars can be parents. That's some judgmental ass shit. You're absolutely right. But they're not mutually exclusive. You got to think of what's doing to those kids. I couldn't imagine. Yeah. They're going to get oh. shit at school. You have time. to fight every day. Or oh, yeah. You just have to. That might be the best set up for a mom for a stand-up comedian is if your mom's a porn star because if you don't learn to defend yourself with words you won't survive Yo, yeah you mm-hmm. have to th- you have to have a bunch of back pocket comebacks <laughs> oh yeah yeah you gotta think about everything like, yeah and she fucks your dad better than your mom does what's it to you <laughs> <laughs> yeah nowadays like gen z yeah uh, you're subscribed to her only fans actually so fuck yeah. you first of all <laughs> That that money puts food on I'm my table. Tear, I'm about to tear your family apart with her subscriber list, dude. <laughs> Zip it. Ooh. And you do this all the time. I'm so impressed. I tell JJ this all the time. Whenever you, whenever we're going up there doing the open mics, you sit there with your notebook and then you write jokes on the spot with great tags. Thank you. Like it'll be like the first minute and thirty seconds, maybe two minutes, and you're just like. Pretty much, you know, saying whatever we said. So you're taking our joke, like people's joke premises, and then in real time. On. In real time, that's crazy. <laughs> and that's awesome when you're not on the receiving end of the joke. Oh, what? Like when Sierra to you? called me out. What yeah. happened? I might have been a little bit pissed about this in the oh, intro. Shit, so for I'm real? not pissed about it. No, I'm, I'm a little pissed about it. But <laughs> <laughs> I, I did some jokes about Tinder, about my <laughs> experiences oh, yeah, on yeah. Tinder. And when I got off, yeah. Sierra went up and was like, JJ was talking about Tinder. You must be a nightmare on there, buddy. I'm like, what is that supposed to mean? <laughs> I'm a respectful young man. I don't send unsolicited photos of my body to strangers on the internet. Is that a big that thing? Is something to be proud of, dude. Uh, Can't be said for a lot of guys. Do you get a lot of those? Oh, I've got some unsolicited dick pics back in my day. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. I bet Brandon got a lot. I bet Brandon <laughs> sent a lot. <laughs> I'm just kidding. He said he has size 14 shoes. He's the out there slinging. No, well, he said 13, 14. Oh. He was like, nah, it's 13. <laughs> All right. All okay. right. He's got lines. Be smooth. <laughs> That's so funny. Yeah, the worst one I ever got was one time a guy sent me one from the angle 
just like this down uh-huh. and he was wearing nothing but socks. <laughs> It was not a good it. thing to look at. I'm like, why would you send that? Would if you prefer it to have socks? Were they white socks or black socks? <laughs> I c- don't ask me <laughs> the color of nothing, dude. They had like the Kool-Aid <laughs> man on them. I was looking at the half soft in front of me. and I <laughs> The was half like, soft? Ugh. That's brave. Dude. Yeah, he went half. The angle yeah. and the yeah flaccidity, is that a word? <laughs> I don't know. It is now. <laughs> the, the flatulence, dude. <laughs> It was cold. <laughs> That's what the dude seasonal Thank hang God he had disorder. socks on. <laughs> <laughs> he might have caught a cold, man. All right, so oh, I think I, I think I got the stats here. You have over three hundred thousand TikTok followers. I do. So you could start a cult. I could if I wanted to. I. What would you do? What, what would your cult be? <laughs> no, dude. Honestly, I would do. I would like use it for good. That's kind of the goal. Like, you would? the whole comedy the Church thing? of yeah. Latter Day Saints. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> the You're Church of Former person. Day Saints. Former Day Saints. <laughs> Change it by a word or something. I don't know. Um, yeah, I don't know. My the goal with the whole thing is just to be silly and and make people laugh and bring people joy and spread creativity and appreciate others' creativity. Hell yeah! Using it for good. Yeah, I just yeah. honestly like the fact that we can all interact with each other on this level like with social media and talk Mm -hmm. to anybody anywhere like i see so much content and hilarious stuff i never would have seen 30 years ago and it's yeah yeah, trying to leverage that platform it's just for the widespread inspiration and comedy sharing i think it's important i think it's cool that was a good answer it's it's very important yes that was too good of an answer yeah yeah we're gonna have to just clip that and just let and i would make everyone worship me (laughs) (laughs) that's how they get you this is fucking sarah palin over here (laughs) Yeah, and the re- yeah, and in order to do this, everyone has to drop everything, give me all their possessions and money, and worship me, and then I'll fix everything. There's that's probably the way people be. out there that would. Yeah. Oh no, I would never. Dude, people pay. I was just watching something. This dude like paid for this girl to gamble his money while he like sat on his knees behind her, like she was at the craps table, let's say, and he pay- she he paid her and she was gambling with his money can't beat that man you pay yeah i would love how do i sign up for that job are they taking applications can i find that on linkedin glassdoor definitely glassdoor yeah Yeah, i don't what's the what's the what does he get out of there yeah exactly some guys like to uh be demoralized i guess yeah demeaned Mm condescending yeah they probably just have too much money you dirty little pig boy you guys see that (laughs) snl sketch with uh oh uh, yeah yes Uh, james James franco Franco. yes (laughs) Yes. little pig boy (laughs) is the spelling bee do you Uh, like snl i love snl there we go lifelong fan yep so one of my favorite uh skits is santa baby with uh ryan gosling and is the elves no, oh, with, with oh, that's sorry, Keenan. Wait, that's yeah. what Keenan. I think he might be Brian in that Gosling's one too. In that one. He's yeah, in that one. I just too. watched that one recently. But okay, what's the Santa Baby one? The Santa Baby when they're at like a like a um, Christmas party at their friend's house, and then uh, the dude's like telling his son, "All right, Santa's gonna be down in a minute." And Ryan Gosling and I can't remember the other act. She's she's one of the best ones though. Skinny white. Kate McKinnon. No, no, no. Kristen Wiig. No, no, no. Way after. Oh, after. Yeah, yeah. Like she she might still be on there now. Oh, current. Was it? Oh. I want to say I can't remember her name, but she's yeah. hilarious. Bl- blonde hair, brown hair. I brown. think she. We'll oh. think of it later. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But she. So uh, they look at each other like Santa's here, and then like the dude's like confused. He's like, "You go bring that beautiful, br- uh, majestic man down here right now." And they just act like crazy. They're on th- like uh, the music starts playing, and they're just on the coffee table kissing each other, oh and like God. everybody's just looking at him. And when he comes down as Santa, because it's the dad, right? He comes down, he just puts a Santa coat on, and like he's like he's like sitting on his lap, he's crying. <laughs> oh my god, I gotta go watch this. <laughs> yeah, that's the shit. I love that. Ryan, Ryan Gosling. Gosling. Yeah, he's a beast. banger SNL host. Yes. Oh my god, the um, Close Encounters one with him oh and Kate god. McKinnon. Oh, uh, that's like a family f- staple for me. My mom and I yeah. love that whole series of uh, yeah. Yeah, that that's the one that put me on the episodes. Hell oh yeah. my yeah. god, the papyrus one is <laughs> my, my poop favorite. Shoot was out. <laughs> oh, yeah, my coot coot and my prune shoot hanging out. I'm out here full Donald ducking it in a drafty dome. <laughs> I love when they break, dude, when they're just cracking up. Because that <laughs> is too funny. It is. It's too she's good. She's so good, man. and she's sitting, and she's got, like, the full camel toe, and she's got <laughs> a cigarette in her hand. I knew that lady thing. growing up, dude. <laughs> she's up. in Ardmore. She's in fucking Ardmore. Shut up. Dude. Yeah, like, course. women like that just. Oh, yeah, the Marlboro Red smoking, you know, it's it has an allure. 
You know, there's an audience for everything. Yeah, yeah. hell yeah. It's a cool thing to watch. Oh, kind yeah. of like a train wreck. <laughs> but the the papyrus Ryan Gosling oh, sketch, yes. where he's he's playing a dude that's just like deeply disturbed by the fact that the uh, marketers for Avatar, like the movie Avatar, use the papyrus font oh, on Microsoft yes, Word yes, yes. as the whole logo. <laughs> and it just like, it bothers him so much. And the whole time you think he's crazy. And then he's outside the dude's house and he like smirks at him through yeah. the window. Closes I know it what you did. I know what you did. And then they doubled down on Avatar 2 and used the same one. <laughs> yeah. So I hope we yeah. get a papyrus too. Oh God, that would be good. <laughs> we oh, have man. to have it. That would be so funny. Ryan Gosling's one of my favorite, act- has became one of my favorite actors. He's good. I mean, in like everything, you see, you like nice guys? Yes, I love yeah, that yeah, movie. Yeah. <laughs> it's a good movie. People don't know about it. like a lot of people. It's, a good one. it's so good. Yeah. Okay, so but back to SNL because I love SNL. Yeah. What's your favorite uh, SNL skit? Ooh, of all time. Ooh. Oh boy, just I whichever one favorites. pops 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 up to your. Mind. I mean, I love that James Franco spelling bee one. That was yeah. good. I loved Celebrity Jeopardy. That was a favorite. <laughs> oh, with Tom Hanks. Up. Yeah. Oh, that was a great um, one. Yeah, Black Will Ferrell would be on it. Uh huh. Yeah, and Burt Reynolds. Burt Reynolds. Burt Reynolds. Turd Ferguson. Mm-hmm. Yep. Um, Great Norm oh, McDonald. Other ones do I, yeah, Norm McDonald's so good. I love Weekend Update. That segment I like a lot. And I did, so I did like the school news in high school or whatever. Oh, shit. Yeah, and I loved, I was the little anchor, and I liked doing that stuff. I took a class in college, chose journalism and creative media minor, and so did a little news anchory type stuff. And I did parody stuff for that class. So every two weeks we'd come in with a script, and I would always just do like the latest news and do parody or jokes about all of them in my own little Weekend Update kind of thing but i did do the school news and i used to do little sketches and little riffs so i would do like a a parody investigative reporter because our mascot was the eagle the soaring eagle and i was like eagle in the hall and i would just go do kind of parody mockumentary interview type things and then i made like an office style mockumentary called don diego instead of juan diego i love it and had the people in my class help me with this all these scripted fake characters and random high school bullshit and then i had this character in my senior quote oh my god i still regret it to this day I had this character called Literal Lydia, and she had this little song, and it was like, if your grammar is bad, without a doubt, Literal Lydia will call you out. And I would just be like <laughs> me walking by someone in a hallway, and they're like, oh, my God, I am literally going to die. It's so hot outside. And I'd be like, are you? Are you literally going to die? It was just me being a smart ass. Um, and then my, my senior quote was literally. <laughs> <laughs> literally. That's badass. I think you're made. Do you ever do the uh, improv? No, I, I, I did think you're made like, for a couple years ago. And you know what? Thank you. I would like to sharpen that skill. That's something I really have not have not tried. You're so quick. You did good. You're at the impossibly cannibal. quick. Thank you. Yeah, and I'm my mom. I think gotta thank my mom for that. She made me so witty. Like we would always just go back and forth when I was a kid. Like mm-hmm. so, I just she I learned to be in that mindset constantly. Like what joke is associated? Like I love looking for patterns and similarities and. Finding that funny, witty, creative next level, yeah. Yeah, so I w- uh, I was talking to Kim. I want to go up there and watch uh, one of theirs. It's like coming up, like December something, and uh, she was telling me the difference between them. Like one is just like you just go and, and improvise. Some people tell you like certain things. We try to do. You were there. We try to do the. Uh, well, she was in yeah. it. Yeah, 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 she yeah. Did. You, you were the her. One, that's right. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, and that girl that I literally met 20 minutes before that thing started, I had no idea who she was. She killed it. She killed yeah, it. Loki I killed yeah. that shit. She was good. She was. I thought you guys really knew each other. No. And worse than I did too. I thought well, they knew. Uh, yeah, okay. So he totally, like, obviously we'd never met. And he did a lot of questions about friendship and, like, how close of friends you guys are. And so I'm like, it's going to be easier if we just commit to a fake bit about being friends than just being like, oh, we don't really know each other. Yeah. You know? So I just was like, let's do it. My girl, this is my home girl. We've known each other for decades. Like, yeah. I was you had me convinced. Yeah, I, I was Thanks. like, we're about to lose the shit out of this. Brandon <laughs> fucking won the thing. Yeah. yeah, hell yeah. Shout out to Brandon hey. for winning that thing. Yeah. Dante, too. Hey. Shout out to yeah. Dante. Oh, my God. Dante. It's so funny because, like, sometimes he gets up there and I'm like, and sometimes he gets up there and I'm like, you know, yeah. not bad. I laugh every time. Thursday Thursday at Mad Malt's, right? Yeah. They had You, you ever been there? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Just so they the have first the time last week. They have the upstairs, and then like nobody was listening to us besides the comedians, and then everybody went upstairs, and Dante was the only one to get, and he had them rolling. He, I'm talking, yeah, he murder. kills sometimes. He yes. gets up there and people like he kills. He's so good. Yeah. yeah. It's it's so crazy because like Dante, you don't know where it's going. If it's your first time <laughs> yeah. seeing Dante, you're like you're like looking around like. 
is everybody else seeing what I'm seeing? Yeah. And then he just says something. You're like, okay, I get it. He's that. a Sergeant yeah. Miller type, dude. No, yeah, He's yeah. Sergeant Miller type. Sergeant so Miller. Mm, <laughs> these damn soldiers. <laughs> yeah, I think that's why I do the ooh, because like, cause sometimes he'll start it out that way, and then he gets you on board. Yeah, you just never know where it's going to go. Yeah. And he has some of my favorite jokes of all time. <laughs> Jamaican misfortune cookies. Jamaican. I'm mad I didn't write that one. <laughs> Honestly, Mon, <laughs> but he pulls it off better. He starts it with Mon, ends it with Mon. I love palindromes. Yeah. <laughs> you yeah, saying words you know I don't too. know what they mean? Well, dude, my you name's a palindrome. A huh? JJ, same forwards and backwards. Okay, yeah, I do. I do remember that. The year I'm about to make you feel old, real quick. The year I was born, 2002. God, also a palindrome. Jesus, where was that in 2002? I think it was a fresh Afghanistan. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Took me a second. I was still rolling over the 2002. Kuwait. <laughs> 2000s. It's just weird that like a grown adult, you're like a grown mu- yeah. grown man, and you were born in 2002. You're, that's. I'm from Brownsville. <gasps> well, you're not a you know. <laughs> that makes sense. That makes sense. Brandy. That adds up. <laughs> this I'm like what? No. <laughs> that was 1998. I'm not. 1998. Oh, that's not yeah. Four years uh, older. Uh, not, I'm really close to the young blood. You're still last millennium though. And once we start, like we coast. can't keep y'all around. I'm that sorry. That is true. You got to take the, even the 98s out. I just 99s. hope I can outlive every person from the 1900s. You won't. I Challenge won't. accepted. No <laughs> <laughs> That's a, women have an unfair advantage. That's female privilege, dude. They live like four <laughs> years longer than men. It's because we're more careful. Y'all are dumb. Y'all yeah, are putting are your dumb. lives in danger voluntarily. Women are very careful. We're thinking about all the details you guys aren't thinking about and taking extra precautions. That's why we're happier, too. Yeah, <laughs> arguably. Damn. Right? Ignorance is bliss. It yeah, is. exactly. Yeah. yeah, man. I'll take it, it dude. <laughs> but you did a set when you you had blonde hair, you're, you're in a guitar, and everybody's talking in the background, but you're just singing. Uh, was it at the Sundance? Sundance. Oh, shit. You found that thing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, my yeah, God. Yeah. We yeah. went deep. Too. Oh, yeah. Cool. yeah, you guys did go deep. So, yeah, I wrote, so I've been writing songs since I was like 14, playing the guitar. And when I was like 15, 16, we flew out to Nashville and recorded eight songs. And I had like a manager for a minute and I got booked at the Sundance Film Festival. It's like the, it was like the writer's room after party, basically. So like we're rec- directors of these smaller films that got showcased, mm-hmm. went to this little bar and that's where I was playing. And I just played some original songs. I was like 16, I think. Yeah. yeah. I looked very different I looked when <laughs> yeah. I was in high school. I was almost like I didn't I didn't recognize you. For real. Dude, yeah. I like hit late puberty or some shit because <laughs> I swear to God, like I, I had just fuller cheeks and I just like I looked different until like 2022 maybe, like early really? last year. Yeah, what? <laughs> Are you serious? I'm serious. It was like it's like been a recent maybe the last two years I would consider myself like attractive. But I don't know. I'm. I just look very different now, and I, I, it's, I don't know how I'm perceived by other people. That's a weird thing on stage. Mm. I was always, like, the goofy friend, and so I would act that way, and now I I feel like I people look at me differently. No, no, you got to keep on sense? doing whatever you're doing. Yeah, and that's what I'm getting back to. Yeah. I feel like I got stuck in my head in the last yeah. year, and I was like, shit, I have to present myself a certain way, or I need to be, Fuck like, a that. stereotypical funny. But recently I threw that out the window, and I was like, Fuck it, I'm a weird person, and... I like I yeah, embrace like, it. Random Lean into it. shit, and I like doing impressions and sketches and stand up and Dude. all over the place and singing. So I'll just do it all. Hey, yeah. so um, so on your TikToks, I love the uh, roasting Bumble DMs. <laughs> yeah. that's my really shit. <laughs> that's my shit right there. Thank I can watch you. those all day. I'm back on Bumble, and I'm using this opener where the guy gets to choose one, a dad joke, two, a fun fact, or three, I roast them. And boy, are men gluttons for punishment. Matched with this gentleman who kindly asked for a roast. I said, you look like the Lorax if you tried the devil's lettuce. Our next victim, take a good look. He asked for a roast. I said, you look like if Patrick Dempsey and the least attractive Baldwin brother had a son. Didn't specify which Baldwin brother, dealer's choice. And uh, frankly, it was more of a compliment. Uh, He responded and said, who are they? And failed the vibe check miserably. Here's our next guy. He asked for a roast. I said, you give off both serial killer and frat douche vibes. And uh, he agreed with the frat douche thing. He said, elaborate on the serial killer vibes. I need to figure out how to hide that better, apparently. (laughs) And uh, finally, this gentleman asked for a roast. I said, you look like you wear the same pair of socks for three straight days till your mom finally washes them. How did you come up with this? I, I mean, honest to God, I was just... 
on Bumble. I was trying to think of a good opener. My friend Eric actually had me come up with it. I was like, I need to think of a creative opener. Girls have to message first, but I want it to be something a guy's going to respond to, not just hey. And um, I put that I do stand up in my bio, so people are expecting kind of a joke or something funny. And yeah, um, yeah. So I, my buddy helped me come up with it. I thought of the compliment and the roast, and then the dad joke was the third one he helped me come up with. And given given someone a choice, then they have. Then they get to pick, and men are gluttons for punishment. They pick roast about ninety five percent of the time. Hell yeah! Some some ask for you know one of the other two a compliment or a or a dad. It just tells you a lot about a person whenever they select. Hmm. And sometimes, most of the time, I would roast someone, and they'd be a good sport about it. But sometimes I'd roast someone, and they would just like roast me back automatically. And I was like, Yo, I didn't ask for it. You did. Damn, that's yeah. a really good point. I feel like you would keep a like an Excel sheet on this shit. It's like thirty three percent of men chose this option. <laughs> it's actually a study. She's in grad school. This whole thing is fake. Yeah, no, I've just been doing the analytics for this for years. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's fun though. Well, and now okay. that I got a boyfriend. I, I haven't done it. Damn, dude. Kind of delete my dating apps. No, no, no. Honestly, I'd like he'd be a good sport if I wanted to do it just for that purpose. But I wouldn't want to get on there and give guys the wrong idea because I'm like I have a boyfriend. Like I, I'd just be going on there yeah. to do it for a bit. That's not very fair. They're trying to look for an actual date. Ah, yeah, they'll be okay. You think? Yeah. I think maybe if I put in my bio like, "Yo, I'm using this for TikTok." Don't. No. I think that it's really cool that you think that, but dudes don't give a fuck. Yeah, they don't. Okay. They're not cool. go- they're, yeah. You can just ghost right after, and then they'll never see me again. Exactly. Yeah. It's probably what happens to them in the other messages anyway. <laughs> yeah. It's right. par for the course. That was my experience, at least. <laughs> yeah, I'm just overthinking it. I'm trying not to try not to do too yeah. much harm out there. I feel what I you're can't just destroy that. a guy's ego and then step out of his life. That's she cold was just blooded. like, I'm using my platform for positivity. <laughs> I know that's, no, honestly, dude, I had this like moral conundrum, and I stopped posting for a while because like what I was doing was was funny, but I was trying really hard to just like find – a niche or like some some type of video I should be doing because doing too vague of things, um, it just doesn't isn't ha- doesn't Jesus sorry isn't popular on TikTok like okay. that's not the platform to use for that, um, and so I started doing lists. I did like here are the top ten worst things you could name your kid. Like here are the ten worst names. Um, started roasting guys. I did uh, hear how people from different states would reject you at a bar. And so it's just like a stereotype from each state, just kind of different lists and things. But a lot of it was like making fun of people or negative things or roasting names. Um, and while they got traction, yeah, I was like, I felt like I was just being an asshole on TikTok. And I try to be a kind person. Genuinely, I like making friends. I like having friendships and relationships with people mm-hmm. and like, you know, sharing the positivity and creativity like I was talking about. And I wasn't really doing that with my platform. I was just, I didn't feel like I was anyway. Okay, okay. Um, so yeah, I'm trying to pivot and be a little more positive or if i'm going to be negative balance it out with some positive too. Mm-hmm. Yeah. well that's dope i don't yeah. think a lot of people feel that way especially no. when it comes to social media because there yeah, is an aspect of like moral responsibility yeah. if you put something out there that could hurt somebody yeah but, i'm like know. there are like i don't know all of my followers 300 and some odd thousand followers I'm like there are mm-hmm. kids following me there are parents yeah. there yeah. are a wide variety of people seeing this content i can't just you know yeah. Be spreading the wrong stuff. <laughs> <laughs> I say that when last week we played a clip of me making a joke about somebody getting hit by a Hamas rocket. <laughs> no, but here's the thing. Okay, that's funny. Like, comedy can still comedy forever. can still be dark. I love dark humor. I love dark fucked up jokes. Like Anthony Jeselnik is one of my yeah, favorite comics. Yeah. He's so good. Like he has this joke, and he's like, every time I have sex with a woman, I always, always assume she has herpes. Because that way, I don't have to tell her about my movies. <laughs> <laughs> like, that kind of shit's funny, obviously. Like, That's hilarious. Here's the thing, though. Like, I, See, I don't mind fucked up jokes. My problem is sometimes they're tasteless or, like, I feel like some, like, racist or gender-specific jokes are overplayed. Like, we've heard that punchline. We've heard that generic beating the woman joke. We've heard that generic race joke. And so nowadays, if you want to pull that kind of humor off, you have to add a level of creativity Mm -hmm. or add a twist or add something different because people people need more to be entertained now. We don't want to hear the same punchline. So, yeah, if you're adding creativity, if you're adding something timely and something a little, like, that people aren't expecting, I'm totally on board. I got, yeah, yeah. I, like, respect the craft, dude. Oh, my gosh. Oh, yeah. Jake Muncy has the best joke like that. I laugh so hard every time. He tells this joke where he's like, yeah, Ted Bundy m- <laughs> murdered, like, 40 women. What's that, like, 20 people? <laughs> <laughs> he's yeah, like, you don't, you don't expect him to say that. I'm sorry for throwing your 
joke out there, Jake. You got enough material. <laughs> yeah, credit okay. to it. We, as long as we credit yeah, them yeah. right on the spot when we do it, I think we're good. Because nobody thinks it's going there. <laughs> yeah, that is a good joke, man. That's fun. <laughs> Damn. So, but I heard this. I don't know if this is true at all. I don't even remember who told me this. Were you in a commercial for Cracker Barrel? Yeah. Mm. Okay. Yeah. So, long story short, just from TikTok, somebody like a comedy scout kind of guy reached out to me. He's like, "Hey, one of my clients is interested in doing a commercial kind of thing or some material with you." And yeah, someone, an ad agency kind of deal, a marketing agency, reached out to me about going to shoot some TikToks for Cracker Barrel. So it was me and three other content creators. I, by far, had, like, the lowest follower count. Some people, a couple of people had, like, over a million followers. Um, and I had, like, 250K at the time, something like that. Um, and then I went out for two days. They paid for my hotel. And we went out to the Cracker Barrel headquarters. Oh, shit. Where's that at? Uh, oh, my. It's called... It's Tennessee. The plantation. And the <laughs> <laughs> it sounds like it. No, honestly, it's like the, the name of the city is the name of a country, and I can't remember. It starts with Lebanon. No. It's something like that, really, like okay. Lebanon, Tennessee, or something. And yeah, it was a huge like campus. Basically, they had all these different stage rooms. They had like a Christmas Cracker Barrel room with all the Christmas decor, and then like a Thanksgiving one, and then we like got to taste all this different Cracker Barrel food. It was sick. Damn, that's really yeah. cool. Yeah, filmed filmed four sketches. Um, all of us, or sorry, I filmed two, two different like little bits and all of us did that. And then one of mine got posted. Mine was one got posted first. Didn't do as well as they were hoping because they only had like 10,000 followers on TikTok. Yeah. And then they didn't never posted any of the other ones. Oh, damn. So like it didn't even pan out. It's not like I did some crazy cracker real commercial. I just helped it's a film cool experience, TikTok though. content. I, and I got a paycheck. I got the bag. Oh, yeah. See, and I got to meet some cool bag, creators. Dude. Like those people were so cool. I got to meet some really cool content creators I never would have otherwise. I went and did an open mic while I was there in Nashville because I was like, I've never done oh. a mic here. Let's check it out. Let's see what's going How on. How was that? It was so cool. I did okay. You recently got a out of town pay gig, right? Yeah, I sure did. My nice. first one. Oh, that's huge. Yeah, it was in Tuscaloosa. It was really exciting. It's where I wrote my first ever stand up set. Yep. So it's pretty cool. Was that your first oh. time performing there? Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, shit. Yeah, Mr. Chen's, a restaurant I love. Who? It was Mr. Chen's. It's a okay. Chinese restaurant. It's super cool. Okay, okay. Yeah. Sorry, I've been sitting far back from the mic. But yeah, it was uh, it was an honor to do comedy in Tuscaloosa. Like, I don't know. I am I think 18-year-old Sierra would be super proud. And that's cool. Yeah. I'd be remiss if I didn't bring up the, uh, you have a group that does sketches. Yeah, just start now. Moonshine Ping Pong. Moonshine Ping Pong. Shout out to Dan Price. Shout out to Jamie Shout Brown. Out. Shout out to Alex Z. We're still building it up. Um, so yeah, if you guys are interested in writing sketches and executing them, we're we're just trying to set a consistent time to meet. We haven't picked one yet. It'll probably just be one of the days before a mic, like an hour before a mic starts. Mm-hmm. We'll show up, write sketches for a little, pick a day to film. That's what we do with this. Yeah. Like do it yeah. on Sunday because we're going to a mic anyway. Yeah. 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 But a shout out Moonshine Ping Pong on Instagram. They just put out their first sketch yesterday, Validation Station. It's a good one featuring Sierra Moses. Go check it out. Yeah, check it out. Check it out. All right, Sierra, this is the end of the podcast. Well, thank you guys so much for having me. This was a joy. Yeah, of course. Thank Thank you you for the gift. Yes, of course. And you will see these up. We're redoing the, we're going to paint this all blue. I love the Back to the Future. And then, keep that. And then have all, we're going to have all this stuff put up. Awesome. Hell yeah. Thank you so much. Hell yeah. Thank you guys so much. Appreciate the time. All right. So now's your time. Anything you got to promote? Any ads? Right in that camera right there. Awesome. Check me out at TikTok, on TikTok at Sierra.Moses. Check me out on Instagram at Sierra Moses Comedy. And check out Moonshine Ping Pong on Instagram as well. Hell yeah. Hell Thank yeah. you guys so much. Thank you Hell so yeah. much Thank for coming. You. Encore. 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 Back again. Got the standing O. Hell just yeah. A quick, just a quick couple bars for my boys. Ready? Chatting on the podcast with Dom and JJ, hoping clown college comedy gets us to payday. Can't forget about Brandon with an E, not an O. Got hey. scammed by a lady on a radio show. What? Damn. Hey. <laughs> Bars. Hell yeah. Shit. <laughs> Good shit. That's all I got. I'm Sierra Moses. Thank you. Hey, <laughs> peace. <laughs>